back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Mandalore leads all of the Mandalorian people, not just a single clan. In order to revive our people, the clans must be reassembled under me. I'm going to look for the other clans, with or without you. At least this way you'll have another ally against the Sith. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people would be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. After the ambush, Kelburn's been pushing to get the entire base 100% operational. So, I have work I gotta do.
hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message. There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Corellian diplomat Mimis Yoon, and Yusunus of Achani. Not sure that he intended to conquer. I think he was trying to do something else. I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know, and that concerns me. Yes, is something wrong? Very well. I imagine it. The problems with the something up. All right. No, I don't. Yet certain. 
Much of the city is under our control, but we still need to wrest the Merchant Quarter from Quintalia's forces. We need you to spearhead the assault on the Merchant Quarter and the attack on the Royal Palace. But we also need you to tend to the Sith Lord's forces. General Vaklu is prepared to make a generous offer when you meet. But before that, we need you to take care of the Sith Lord's base of operations. The Sith Lord has been using an ancient tomb on Duxon as their base in the system. That tomb isn't too far from your encampment. You need to assemble a group that can eliminate the Sith at the tomb. We'll coordinate with Kelborn when you're ready to strike. After their attack there, the Sith will turn on us. So we'll need you here with us. You'll have to divide your forces. We need your skills on the planet. You should select someone you trust to lead the group to attack the Sith camp. I look forward to working with you in person. The battle rages nearby. Find some sort of transport to the Merchant Quarter. General Vaklu will meet you personally when you arrive. The Colonel has transmitted the tomb's coordinates and I've got a strike force of Mandalorians ready to go. We will send the strike force with you to clear a path through the jungle. Who will lead that expedition? I will serve as you wish. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Yes, good choice. And who else? As you say. Now are you certain of your choices? Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. We've already received our signal from Colonel Tobin. You're to attack the Sith camp immediately. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on.
Type 2 Perimeter Motion Relay. That particular model has several security vulnerabilities and design flaws. Stealth field generators can fool them. If one of us could get close to it, I know the corporate override code for it. Amateurs shouldn't even bother building security technology. So, you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. It's a wonder you've survived this long. Then by all means, proceed. I'm going to stay here to observe. Thank <laughs> you. 
is my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. The fool let Canox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedon Nerd lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. Bleak assignment. Signing off. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mined perimeter. We had to replace the minefields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea why it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. Coded messages from orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. The Sith must have said something about a disturbance in the Force. Well, what does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? <sighs> From his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. The only thing that could worry our master so much has to be a drop ship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, they said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off.
Freedonad must have been truly great to leave such an impact. The echoes of his life are still here. I feel secrets can be learned here. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me.
architect was that made that door, he or she was quite competent. Mandalorian iron, reinforced joints. Whatever is behind it isn't meant to be disturbed. Frida Nad's resting place must be beyond it.
Just one more moment. We're almost through. Failure, Captain, will not be tolerated. As you command, my lord. 
Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is. A salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you, they won't know what hit them. There is one problem. Unfortunately, its weapons systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. A basilisk here? The Mandalorians are attacking the city! Vaklu has made an alliance with the Mandalorians? Men! Fight for your lives! Looks like they still remember us. But now is not the time for talk. It's the time for action. We have vivid memories of the last time they fell to Isis. The men still aren't convinced that there isn't a Mandalorian invasion. It's nice to see we're still remembered. I'm glad we finally met up again. We will honor our end of the deal. The General is coming right now to... brief you. Thank you for coming here. It is an honor to meet you, Master Jedi. I trust that Colonel Tobin has made adequate arrangements for you. 
I understand you've already sent your people to deal with the Sith on the moon. That is part of the plan. My plan is to divide my forces. My main body has many Sith soldiers and their masters. Also, it has many beasts that somehow the Sith control. I am going to take that body and assault the Royal Palace head-on. The casualties will be extreme, but we will break through, and also weaken the Sith tremendously. I want you to lead a detachment of my men that will take the sky ramp, then go to the palace via that route. You will have no Sith and no beasts. Your leadership and prowess will be the only chance they have. I know that you can do the job. You should make haste to the palace, because at any point they will have learned of your attack on their base on the Duxon Moon. Together, we will crush their army, and then deal with Talia. After that, it won't take the Sith long to realize they've been betrayed. But together, we will crush their forces and then deal with Talia. You will need to clear the way for our troops on the sky ramp. One of my officers will be assigned to you to follow your orders. When we meet again, it will be in the palace and death to anyone that stands in our way. Colonel Tobin has ordered us to follow you. With you in command, the royal palace will fall this day. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith. Those beasts... Those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here will give their life to keep that from happening. I think the situation has gotten even worse. Worse? How is that even possible? It can always get worse. An old student is returning. I fear for us all. My men and I will meet you at the sky ramp. Thank you. 